it is all about autumns. How exciting is that? <laughs> yeah, well, it's really exciting for you. I was going to say, speaking from an autumn. <laughs> yes, I am actually very excited about today because today we are breaking down everything you need to know if you are in autumn or maybe you know someone who is in autumn and the holiday season is coming up. So maybe you want to purchase for them or pretty much anything going on or figuring out the right colors. Maybe you even don't know your season and you're struggling to tell if you're in autumn. We are talking all of that today. The important thing is, whether you're giving gifts or whatever, if you're into seasonal color analysis, it's important to kind of know all four seasons and the characteristics of all four seasons. Because once you know your season and you start dressing in your season, people are going to say to you, you look great. What are you doing? Did you lose weight? Um, did you have a facelift? I am telling you, people will say, did you have a facelift? And when they do that, you'll start, you want to share what you're doing. You want to share the, the blessings of Color Me Beautiful and, and color. And then they will say, well, what's my season? You're going to need to know. You're going to need to point them in the right direction. So it will be good if you stay with us for this whole series, because then you can put them in the right season. Yes, this is one of many videos to come, and we are going to be breaking down each season. But starting off today with our autumns, I'm diving right into eye color, because that is pretty important when it comes to knowing what your season is. And let's take a look at autumn's eye color. Now, most autumns are going to have brown, green, hazel eyes, but some even have a bright turquoise. And down below, I do make that distinction with the um, turquoise aqua color. You're looking for blue with that distinct aqua color. So yes, autumns can have blue eyes, but they're a little on the green, they have a little green in there. So that's really makes an autumn eye color. Now, what makes turquoise? What makes turquoise different than blue? It is and the addition of warmth, the addition of yellow, the addition of green. So it, do, are we seeing a theme here? You know, it, basically, you, if you were to take an ice blue eye and add warmth to it, you would end up with a turquoise eye. And that's the key. Um, having Adding warmth to everything takes it over toward the autumn side. Mm -hmm. That base of saying something is a yellow base or a gold base. That's really important when it comes to the autumn season because everything you wear and every part of you, whether it's your eye color, your hair, and your skin tone, all have that yellow golden base to it. With softness. We're going to talk a lot today about autumns are warm. Springs are warm too, but autumns of the warm seasons are going are the softer of the two seasons. And we're, we're going to talk a lot about that. So bringing our next slide in, it's all about hair color. Now I said eye color is pretty important, but a hair color is the most important thing about an autumn because hair is powerful when it comes to an autumn because you have those rich golden red hair. <laughs> and I will go as far as to say, um, sometimes you have kind of an incongruous mix. Uh, Sarah's skin tone is fair. And her eye color is a gray, bluish green color that may not be exactly what one would say is a typical uh, autumn shade. And her natural hair color is auburn. So let's say that as you're looking at the characteristics, all of Sarah's characteristics, her dominant characteristic, the one that people cannot take her eye, their eyes off of, the one they always comment about, is her red hair. So the important thing is when, when, when you're looking at someone, pay close attention to their dominant characteristic, the thing that they're really, you know, that you really can't take your eyes off of, because that's what, what is going to carry the day, you know, when you're looking at something for seasonal color analysis. My favorite thing that you always say is if somebody was running away from the scene of a crime, how would you describe them at first? And of course, my first characteristic would be some crazy red hair. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. So just going through some of these colors that we have, we have red, golden blonde, carrot top, golden brown, golden black, coppery red brown, golden gray, and chestnut brown. Ooh, and we should, I, I want to take note of this golden gray color. Yes, you can be gray, but... It has to be a red gray. Now, once you go fully silver or completely gray, then you're going to change your seasons, probably either summer or winter. 
but you can still be slightly gray and an autumn. Just remember that an autumn needs to be on the dark, the deeper side, you know, um, mm -hmm. the, the autumn, when we say that they are soft, we're saying that they're a low contrast season. Um, and the colors in the palette, they're a low contrast group of colors. So the hair is somewhat, is a deeper, is deeper in terms of the shade. So there's not a lot of contrast there. Uh, even, um, I think that it, one of the shades you described was like a, a reddish, a, 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 like a, did you say a golden black or a red black? Basic yeah. talking about is hair that has red or gold highlights. And if your hair has red or gold highlights in it, no matter how dark it is, we describe that as kind of being an autumn shade. Now, at some point, you can look at black hair and see blue highlights, blue black. Um, that mm -hmm. then becomes a cool shade. And, you know, then we start talking about you as a winter. And that burgundy red, we let you stay over in the winter category as well. But mm -hmm. uh, red or gold highlights medium to dark, you're an autumn. And just to emphasize what you just said, because that burgundy color we're talking about is that cool, almost maroon color. That's what we're referring to when we talk about burgundy, which is not in autumn. We're looking for the warm red and the copper color, not the purple red, like the maroon color. So that's going to be your winter color. Yes. Now, and medium to dark, strawberry blondes, that bright red, those stay back up into springs because they're bright. Remember, mm -hmm. we're looking for the soft, deep reds. Okay. And last thing I wanted to talk about is showing off skin tone. Um, skin tone isn't as important as hair is, but it's still good to talk about. Um, there's a whole array of shades that you can be in in autumn, um, all the way to fair like me to our deep, rich red tones. And those have those really warm undertones to it. And all of these shades have those warm undertones to it. So I guess at the end of the day, what we are trying to say is skin tone can vary. If you are a very fair tone person like me, you can always rich it up a little bit um, going with a neutral foundation base. Or you can even do like spray tanning to richen up your skin tone. I like, I the way that I like to look at it is as a tiebreaker. Because if your hair falls into to the category, you're good. You're fine. Um, and let's say that you used to be a blonde and you go out and you dye your hair because this happens with the, the stars in Hollywood a lot. You'll have, you'll see blondes quite often dye their hair dark red. At that point, they are no longer springs. They become autumns and they need to dress accordingly. And, and we see it frequently at award shows or whatever. Um, so you don't necessarily, you don't have to change your skin tone. You don't have to change your eye color if you've changed your hair color dramatically. And this doesn't necessarily apply to autumns. Charlize Theron, when she was a spring, a blonde, and she dyed her hair black and she was a winter instantly mm -hmm. um, and needed to dress accordingly. So it, I, you know, I like to say it's like 75% hair color. And, it, and use your skin tone and your eye color as a tiebreaker. These days, that is what it is. And speaking of tiebreakers, I think that's the next best thing to talk about. So we've done all these color um, analysis. We've talked about our hair. We've talked about our eyes. We've talked about our skin tone. But maybe you're still a little iffy. The way to do a tiebreaker is what we're about to show you. Now, there's two colors that an autumn can absolutely wear that no other seasons can wear and one of them being pumpkin, and the other being olive green. Now, if any of the other seasons wore these colors, they would either go sallow or look ghostly and gray. But autumns thrive in these colors. So if you are trying to figure out if you're a different season from an autumn, do these two colors look good on you? And if they do, then you are an autumn. Now, I will say that springs that can wear something a little bit brighter than a pumpkin, like a marigold, you know, in that family, like, remember, we say that autumns are soft and that springs are bright. They're both warm seasons. Now, if you take that pumpkin and make it brighter, springs like can coral. wear brighter orange, but, mm -hmm. and with the olive green, you move that into more of a lime green 
and springs can wear that as well. Another thing that um, is uniquely uh, autumn is russet. Rust mm -hmm. is not a friendly color for other seasons. Now, maybe we were just talking about all these other colors. Let's take a look at tiebreakers again. We're going to go through each season and determine if a certain shade looks good on you versus a different variation of that shade and figure out what the best season is for it. So let's do winters and autumns first. Now, this one's easy. Pure white on a winter looks great. Nobody else can wear pure white. So if you can wear a pure white, you're a winter. You're not in autumn. <laughs> Easy as that. Uh, there's also some other uh, tough ones when it comes to winters. So we talked about brown eyes, autumn's having brown eyes. Well, winters can also have brown eyes. So a lot of winters think they might be autumns. But this is a really good way to think about it. Brown is boring on a winter and exciting on an autumn. So always ask your friends because hopefully they'll tell you the truth. <laughs> And that is very true. And there are some people, you know, who who just they cannot make up their mind. And if you blur the eye and it, it all kind of blends together, that's it, that's kind of the same thing as the brown looking boring on a winter. Look at it that way, because it is exactly true. When you put brown on an autumn, it looks harmonious. But when you put brown on a winter, it looks Blah. It looks dulling to her skin as well. Yes. As a summer, um, this one, it says, am I great in pastel blues and pinks, but not good in pumpkins or mustard colors? Oh my goodness. Eh. Yuck. Um, pumpkin and mustard is just death on me. It's horrible. We have a, a joke, Sarah and I do, that mustard and yellow is like, is a demon color in my life because it is just awful. But she loves it. Loves I mustard. Absolutely wow. love the mustard color. <laughs> oh, so much. So um, that is definitely a tie-breaking color when it comes to summers and autumns. If you look good in pastel blues and pinks, summer. If you look good in mustard colors, autumn. Easy as that. And then spring and autumn. We talked about autumns being very soft. And um, just reading this, they can wear muted colors like mustard and moss green again, or very dark browns, but springs are clear. So think about these like rich, clear colors, like gold, peach, lighter golden browns. That's where the spring season comes in. Khaki, and, khaki mm -hmm. is a great spring color. Um, and I like to think of springs as wearing spring flowers, like daffodils and you know, as, you know, when spring starts to bud, you know, and you look out and you see tulips and springs can wear all of those, they bright, bright colors, but autumns, they're the autumn landscape. They're soft. So if you have any questions, pause this screen and take a look, go grab some colors that are either pumpkin, mustard, white, or those um, bright like corals, peachy colors, and you'll be able to determine what your season is. Lastly, I want to talk about makeup because makeup is, I mean, you're wearing a color. Again, you need to be wearing the right colors of makeup, just like you are wearing the right colors of clothing. And take a look at this. We have the right colors on the left and we have the wrong colors on the right. And what's so funny about this is, you know, if it, it, sort of discipline yourself to just take a quick glance at the model on the left. And, you know, what you see is the model, and then you see her dress. If you take a quick glance at the model on the right, you see her mouth. That's it. On the left, you see the, the model, her entirety. You see her look. Again, we have a joke that says, you know, her mouth arrives into the room, and then the rest of her does. Uh, that's what you're seeing. You know, everything is just um, not of a piece. It needs to be harmonious, and that's that's what this whole system is about. And the only two things adjusted on this are lipstick and blush. And of course, the strip of color at the bottom. So lipstick but, and blush, the only two things changed. Look how gray her skin looks with the wrong color blush compared to the I right color. I think that it, I find it very interesting that it makes her eyes look small. Oh, yeah. I do see that as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looking back and forth. Well, the reason it makes her eyes look small is because that the color of her lips and the color of that strip across the front of her is actually in in her eye. You know, there's a little bit of that in her eye, so it's all harmonious and making it all blend together. So it's also making her eyes look large. But 
there's nothing. It, it, the lip is just out of nowhere and the dress is kind of out of nowhere. So that's making her eye look small. She She's so much more golden in the left compared to gray on the right. And this, her the makeup she's wearing right now would look great on a summer. But right now, since she is a warm season, she has warm hair. She has warm eyes, warm skin tone. The gray and the pastel kind of colors on her for makeup instantly washes her out. Since we're talking about makeup colors right now, let's look at the best colors for an autumn when it comes to lipstick and blush. And that's going to be your warm based red to pink colors. As you can see, here's a list. We even have some nudes in here as well. Now, I know shopping for your seasonal makeup can be very difficult. So Color Me Beautiful has laid every single shade out online. Um, when you search through all of our different shades, they are designated which season can wear which shade. So we do make it easy. But if you are looking at what you currently have, then this is going to be the best array of lipstick and blush to focus on. And of course, um, look, think about intensity. So let's say that your hair is brown and it's not as red as Sarah's is, but you are both falling within the autumn season. But Sarah, obviously her hair is much warmer than your hair would be if it is a warm brown, right? So Sarah may be able to pull off a redder lipstick, you know, a warmer, more orangey lipstick than you would be able to pull off with your warm brown hair. So even within a season, you know, you may find different things that you like personally within your season because we're all different and it's not all one size fits all. But uh, Sarah, for example, she loves the chili and she loves the blaze and the really vibrant shades. We have autumns that go more toward the other end of the spectrum with the suede rose and things like that. So mm -hmm. some of it is a personal preference. If you really are interested in in a complete array, this is the best basic shades to find that will look amazing on you and including blush. And if you are shopping within your swatch fan, if you look at your swatch fan and find all of the reds, the pinks, well, I shouldn't say pinks. Autumns are very limited on pinks. I should say apricots, um, things along those lines, those kind of colors that are in your swatch fan, those are the makeup shades that you want to focus on. Everything in the swatch fan is what you want to focus on. So you do have your metallic colors, you have your basic everyday um, neutral shades, you have your bold, bright, everyday wearable shades as well, and then you have your makeup colors in there. So everything is in your swatch fan. Um, if you are interested, you can get a um, physical swatch fan to take with you, or you can get a digital swatch fan that's really great for shopping online. So you Yeah, right on your phone. Um, you just whip out your phone and you can sweep through and compare. It's super handy. Mm -hmm. So there's multiple options when it comes to your swatch fan as well. All right, so if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. We will be happy to hear from you or answer any questions if you're struggling to determine what your season is. If you're in autumn or something else, we can always help you with that. And um, the color quiz, don't forget the color quiz. Mm -hmm. You can also take the Color Me Beautiful color quiz at colormebeautiful.com. So we just wanna say thank you for joining us today. Um, we hope you enjoyed this video and we hope you enjoy the rest of the series. We are gonna be coming out with all the rest of the season. So stay tuned for that and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified when that video comes out. And we hope to see you in our next video.